it's really enthusing and there is no time limit we will go in the night we will come in the morning and then again we will go sometime means whenever we feel we will go in in the field and we will start working and it will be always because animals do not have any time sometimes they will venture out because our forests are very small and fragmented elephant will come and sometime it will go inside inside the non forest area there will be huge problem again we will put all our technical expertise and then we will bring the elephant back safely into, in, into the forest and sometimes we will happen to uh, deal with rhinoceros we will have to happen to uh, deal with tigers actually these are the things before coming into forest series i have seen only in television so now we are closely dealing with and we are touching the animals when we are they, we are doing the transposition we are touching the animal we are feeling it and we are getting that warmth actually it is very it is a beautiful part of it and for the officers who are very much interested in photography there i could very well suggest that their option should be like for a service only indian for a service only so wherever we go and take the photography it will be a kind of a, like beautiful photograph so there is no need to do some background work wherever we stand and take the photograph it will be the uh, like uh, beautiful one so it is really fascinating in that sense and moreover apart from this forest and wildlife element there is a human element that is the bigger part actually that is very important that is very important yeah yes sir yes sir forest Unless villages you... forest villages are there lot of people uh, live uh, nearby forest and also forest villages are there uh, yes sir forest fringe villages are there you are you have rightly said sir actually close to 24% of our uh land is with the forest uh, departments of different states so many people close to 25% of the population in the country are dependent on forest for their livelihood like they will go inside the forest for collecting minor forest produce they will collect some flowers they will collect some seeds they will collect firewood for their daily livelihood so we have to do the activities which are really supportive of the livelihood for the local people so then when, when only when the people are given the support they will be doing the conservation they will be taking the active participation in conservation of forest and wildlife so mostly these people belong to the uh, scheduled tribes and scheduled caste communities with, who are generally backward and actually aspiring for growth and development in the country so when we are actually coming with lot of uh, means experience from the academy or from the training and we have we start working with the different departments along with the people we really get lot of satisfaction at the end of the day when we are coming out from the field we will get a, we will derive lot of satisfaction actually to make a point sir i have already worked in uh, mnc companies private companies uh, but the kind of satisfaction that i am getting right now in the government sector as an indian forest service officer in west bengal working with people forest and wildlife it's like not comparable sir. oh great i think it's a blessing the way you are telling and describing your job profile you are yeah. thoroughly enjoying your job uh, the yes. kind of exposure it gives you to both forest wildlife and also livelihoods of uh, a huge uh, segment of population are dependent on forests particularly yes. socially disadvantaged sections are also there so i think it's a great feeling and also contribution to their development both forest regeneration forest conservation but also the livelihoods so excellent i think that that's a great thought so you you will you will encourage uh, uh, aspirants or youth to come for uh, ifs definitely sir this is a very good uh, career for anybody who is very much interested in nature conservation forest conservation wildlife conservation environment now the another field which is largely picking up across the world is climate change so the people who are working in forest and wildlife will have a better idea in climate change aspects and their career opportunities are more actually initially we are working for initially for the first 7 years we will be posted in any of the forest departments in any of the cadres but after that the the opportunities are wide open with this expertise we can go to any department maybe agriculture horticulture or any department panchayat and rural development department any department we can go with this expertise and then we can deliver and that this is a this is called a deputation so this 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 is giving us an opportunity to work in other departments also not restricting us within a domain of like forest and wildlife if you want to continue to work in forest and wildlife that is also fine that is welcome but still if you want to go for having export expertise
is in other fields also that is also uh, available in this uh, career 